This is LK99. It was found by Zukpa Li, Li Hon Kim, and Jung Wan Kwon. This material was discovered in the year 1999, that's why it's called LK99. LK, the letters come from the last names of the scientists. And recently there was a new article um, about the superconducting properties of this material. Uh, this compound is a modified uh, lead apatite. Apatites are a variant of hydroxyapatite, the same class of materials. Hydroxyapatite is the mineral in the bones and teeth. This is the formula of LK99, that's a lead copper phosphate oxide. X is important in this formula, and you get a superconductor only if this uh, X is between uh, 0 0.9 to 1.1, so about one tenth of the lead ions uh, are replaced by copper ions. It's a non stoichiometric compound. Its critical temperature is, according to these scientists, uh, above 127 degrees Celsius, and this makes it unique. And you can see by the formula, these uh, elements are all uh, quite uh, cheap. That's another very big advantage of the LK99. Yeah, what's special is about, about this material is, according to the scientists, it, it is not confirmed yet by other scientists. LK99 is believed to be a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure at one bar. That's what's special.